Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Let's gather our thoughts and focus them on the breath. And it's very easy for the mind to want to go wandering off and say, okay, I've seen the breath, what's next? And you say, no, you want to keep looking here. Because there are other things around the breath that are really worth knowing about. But you're not going to see them clearly until you're really still with the breath. And to get your mind as still as possible. It's like trying to tell if there are mice in the, the walls of your house. You have to sit very quietly. If you're making a lot of noise, you'll never hear the mice because your noise blots out their noise. But if you get very, very still, they can hear all oh, this scurrying around here, scurrying around there. And then you can do something about them. The same with the mind. There are a lot of little scurryings around in your mind that you don't notice because you're making a lot more noise yourself. So try to get the mind really still with the breath, very quiet, and then listen carefully. See what motions of the mind are telling you to go here, go there, and then we'll look at the voice that tells you, you want to do this, you want to do that. It's like coming across a sign, that the sign is pointing someplace else. But you want to actually look at the sign, because you wonder, well, why are they trying to divert my attention? Look at the person pointing. Now we learn some really interesting things about the mind. Otherwise, you just follow their instructions. Look over here, look over there, and you look at the, all the places that they want you to look. And well, who are they? Which defilement is telling you to look? You're not going to know this until you get things very, very quiet and learn how to look at the motions of the mind simply as motions. And don't believe all the meetings they tell you that they have. Because what we're trying to do is see something that's right here, but we've missed it in the past. We don't have to, as a John Munn said, to learn about the three levels of the cosmos. You don't have to go traveling around the cosmos. You just look in the mind. Those three levels are right here. It's just simply that we don't pay attention, that we have our attention focused on something else. The Four Noble Truths are right here, but we're not looking in their terms. We're looking in terms of something else, and so we don't see them. So change the terms of how you're looking here and get really, really still. Ask yourself the right questions about what's going on and get still enough so you can see something new. That's why what's been here all along has been hidden from you is because you're not still enough and you're not asking right the qu right questions. But this is also why if you do get still enough and ask the right questions, what's right here opens up. <laughs>